Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought I would do something as a follow along and I thought I would approach the follow along a little bit differently. If I need to find out something nowadays, I don't know about you, but it's either Google or I'm straight onto YouTube to see if there's a video. And I thought to myself, why not actually go onto YouTube and search for a video for a foot massage and see what comes up. And I just picked a random one that I thought had a good title, How to Give an Incredible Foot Massage. And I'm going to follow along. Now, I had a quick look at it and it was excellent. The reason why I wanted to choose something, and again, it was random, is because I want to be able to see who else is out there doing massage videos. I love to learn new techniques. I am not going to be critiquing anyone. I'm just going to be following along. And it just so happens that it's a channel called Massage with Mike. Now, in all honesty, I don't follow any other massage channels. Um, the only beauty channels that I really dip in and out of are things like Lisa Eldridge, because I like watching the makeup. But um, when it comes to massage and beauty treatments, I don't actually watch any. So Massage with Mike was new to me. I had a quick look and I really liked it and thought it was an excellent video. But again, I just picked it randomly. So what we'll do is we'll follow along. Now he uses a lot of terminology, but I'm going to have it down at a very low level. So we're not going to share the terminology. You can watch the original for that. We'll just keep it very much in layman's terms, just in keeping it simple. My main goal is for you to relax and enjoy this video. It might even be a little bit of ASMR for you. So very quickly, I'll just pop some oil onto the feet and then we'll press play on the video. It's around about seven minutes, the video. And I think we're only working on one foot, so I'll just follow on one foot again for the benefits of the video, and then I'll balance it up again later. So I'd love for you to tell me in the comments how you discovered me, what you possibly find useful about the videos that I do, because it just occurred to me today that when I'm looking for some information or some help, that's what I do. I go into YouTube. If I'm trying to fix something that's broken, if I'm cooking something and I want inspiration. And a lot of the time I just go into YouTube and each time it's a completely random channel. Quite often it's someone that I don't know, I've never heard of. And I suppose that's how you find out about people. So I'd love to know if that's how you discovered me. And um, you can just be honest and tell me maybe it's... Um, something that you found and you thought, nope, you're not for me, Lane, you're not for me. <laughs> I'll take it. But um, Massage with Mike, again, brand new, but, re well, not brand new, brand new to me. And what I can see, I can understand why people really enjoy the videos. So I'm going to press play and we'll just follow along. So how to give an incredible foot massage. I'll just get myself comfortable. Okay, so he is stretching out. He's almost pressing the top and the bottom so the top side and the underside of the feet and then this reminds me a lot of the warm-up moves in reflexology very much the treats and I can understand why he would want to do this because you're warming up that foot you're loosening everything off now this is almost like a prayer move but a fast one so it'll be very stimulating get the blood circulating and then he is giving the foot a straight. Now he's standing up. I am not standing up for this. Maybe I should. Now we are on to stretching out the toes. So we're taking a firm hold of the toes with our thumb and our index finger. And we are stretching and pulling those toes. Again, it'll be a firm stretch. But you don't want to actually pull to the point it's hurting someone. But definitely firm. And then we've got that big toe. And there's a note here saying mobilise the joints. And now we are supporting and we are moving from side to side. And again, we're isolating. So we're pulling the toe out, supporting it and moving it from side to side. And again, pulling the toe out and moving from side to side. And the note says basically the little piggy for adults. So there you go. Now we are supporting the toe, we are rubbing it and then we're pushing in very firmly so that you can actually see the change in circulation. You can see the whiteness. So it goes red because you are boosting the circulation and then you push in and it goes white. 
So that's how firm it is. And I just noticed that he's doing it a little bit longer, but again, I've turned the volume down. Now we are supporting the foot. And what we're doing is we're pushing with the top hand and then we're pulling down the Achilles with the hand that's supporting underneath. So again, we're pushing the foot up and we're gently stretching underneath. And I can imagine how good this would feel. Now we're pulling the foot slightly to the side where it says free the heel. And we're using two fingers, the knuckles. And again, this feels very much like a reflexology move down the side of the foot. So if you couldn't see it there, it's almost like down here. And then we're working down the side of the foot with the knuckles and we're really working down the outline of the body if you're doing reflexology. Now we are holding the top of the foot and very firmly we're using the knuckles and we're pushing along the ball of the foot, the top of the sole. And again, there's so much pressure there in those knuckles that you can see it's going from red and then you're pushing it in and it's going white. And now we're almost like curling the toes in and pushing with the knuckles, like scrunching that foot in. And again, I can imagine that would be quite a, a strong releasing move. And now we are, I don't want to block you, I hope you can see this, stretching out the toes and then working down the foot with those knuckles. And you can see the pressure that he's putting into it. You can actually see the skin changing colour. So there's a lot of pressure there. But you can imagine the stretch that this is giving the foot, all those aches and pains. I can just imagine how nice this would feel. And then again, we're moving the foot to the side. And then we're pushing in just underneath where your ankle bone is. We're pushing in almost like the fleshy part before the heel. Two fingers. And we're massaging in there and holding it firm. And it says this can also mimic what people think is plantar fasciitis. So I'm wondering if this, again, is just to release a pain that you might feel in your foot and you might think that that's what you've got. And then it's pressing in right here, pressing in. And then we're squeezing and lifting. Oh yeah. Again, very firm. You can see the change in the colour of the foot because it's so firm a pressure. So this isn't just a delicate little massage. This is something that you genuinely are putting a lot of muscle strength into. And now he's standing up, so I better stand up. So he's stretching out the foot, get this right, and then actually pressing on the lower leg. Stretching out the foot, pressing on the lower leg, and again, this must be really good for releasing tightness and tension. It feels when I'm doing it as if it's going to be having a very beneficial effect, so I hope that's exactly what it's doing. So now he's got the foot and he is sliding the fingers down the top. Sliding to the ankle, sliding up the leg. Doing it again. Supporting the toes. Sliding down. And again, if you watch his video, he's using all the terminology, but we're keeping it super simple because not everybody that watches is watching for that. Some people just want to hear it in basic terms. And now it looks as if we're sliding with our index finger. And we're sliding in between the tarsals. I 
and you can feel for the gaps. And I think just to finish, a little squeeze. And we're done. So that was massage with Mike. So a lot of those moves, some of them felt a little bit like reflexology. Some of them were completely new to me. It was a lot more of a, I don't mean a vigorous massage in the sense that it would have been painful, but a lot more stretching than I normally do. A lot more pushing the foot, manipulating the foot, a lot more of that than I would normally do in any of the routines that I use. But that's what's great fun about discovering new people. It's finding out different tips, different techniques that you might not be familiar with, might not have thought of doing. Again, you shouldn't perform these unless you're trained, but a lot of the time we use these for little guides, little tips, little pointers in our own lives. And sometimes you cannot, as, as I've said, we shouldn't be snobbish about why people watch videos. I sometimes get people saying that you shouldn't actually put videos up because it encourages people to copy. But I do think that is a bit snobbish because not everyone has access to a salon or a therapist. Not everyone wants to go, not everyone can go. So it's not up to us to dictate who gets to see how a treatment is performed. But at the same time, you always have to take responsibility for your actions and you should never just attempt something without knowing what you're doing, why you're doing it and if it's safe to do so. So you know where I stand and I hope you do enjoy watching the videos. Hope you found this relaxing, possibly interesting, beneficial, you can let me know. I'll match up the other foot now. Have a great day and I'll see you again soon.